today we are at the skate park, which is at the fringe of Orchard Road. It's a public park and in the afternoons there's lots of kids who come here to skate. I'm here to do some black and white photography on the XT30. It's really fun shooting with the LCD. The screen allows you to touch to focus, touch to shoot or touch to focus and shoot. In total, I've got four baby lenses. Basically, if I'm going on a long holiday or going on a you know fun day out, this is all I really need. It's lightweight and it fits into a little backpack. So that's what I love most about it. The way I shoot black and white photography is that I leave home seeing only black and white. Stop seeing colours and you only see shadow and light. Things like lines, forms, structure are good and easy things to start off. When you're out in the street doing street photography, you could be looking at the faces of people and you are pitting the, the light on the face against the contrast of the environment to bring out the person on the street. With the XT30, I've actually put my camera on the across mode. You can directly see the frame in black and white. Bam! Together? Now I go and stand up there and how to go up? So I, I take from up there, okay? Yeah, same thing. How to go up? My god. <laughs> so cool. Okay, two, one. And I had requested one of the product managers, Jun Watanabe, to have such a function where reporters and journalists can actually take down notes when they've taken the photos. I've actually turned on the voice memo setting already. Going to uh, a picture that I've taken of Johanna and Kura, and I'll get them to say their names as a form of record instead of putting it down on pen and paper. My name is Kura. Are you Kura? Six. That's seven years old. Voice memo settings records 30 seconds. So it's a great function if you want to um, take down some notes of the people that you've photographed. High five. Yeah. Can, yeah. You, can I see the thing? Yeah, okay, you can see. That's the photo. What is the most difficult thing for him? Oh, overcome the fear. Some of the tricks that he learned from coaches. Yeah. Coaches try to teach him a lot, yeah. but some of the things he cannot do without coaches around. How do you think you know skateboarding benefits him as a growing oh. boy? It is not just the technique, not just the technique. As he keeps coming here, he makes friends here. He learns a lot from bigger boys. Such a good age. I just now I mistook him for a girl. <laughs> then he oh, said, yeah. "I'm a boy." Every day, is, every day it happens, but he's very. Good. Okay about it. Did he want to have the long ponytail? He wanted long to hair. have long hair because he wanted to have a ponytail like his sister. Oh, okay. What about Johanna? You know, I mean, she's a girl, right? Uh -huh. Do you think it's a bit special that she's doing this? Um, she's never been a girly girl since young. She bought the skateboard first. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Such a great mummy, you call. <laughs> it's so great. Look at me, Johanna. <laughs> oh. But you're also very good. You're better than me. <laughs> cute. Why are you so cute? Look up, look up. <laughs> ready, ready? One more time. Look at me. It's quite a different experience for me shooting with the XT30 because the viewfinder is smaller. It's actually easier to look through the LCD, which is something I'm not so used to. When I first arrived here, it took a while before I could start seeing the shapes and the forms because there's so much graffiti on the wall. I was very distracted by all the colours that were going on. It took some kind of trying, you know, trying to compose. Having the film simulation in the EVF or on the LCD, being able to see it in black and white, it did help me. Admittedly, photographing in black and white takes a bit more time. You wouldn't expect to react to every scene 
as fast as you could in colour. Black and white is more about subtraction. You're photographing a state of staleness. Okay, like that. <laughs>